Bonjour, hello, salut, hi, EFO, ça va? Ça va super? Okay, I hope everybody's well. Um, today is a little bit different because I'm going to be reading you a story as part of the World Book Day activities that are going on in school. All right, so our objectives are to understand that stories may be translated into other languages for readers across the world to enjoy. To follow a familiar story read aloud in French, picking out key words. To revise the days of the week, which we began to learn last lesson. And we're going to look and listen for two key phonemes or sounds. Okay. Right, so as I said, this week it's going to be World Book Day on Thursday the 4th of March or jeudi 4 mars in French. Okay, and your teachers will have lots of different activities planned for throughout the week and I wanted to be part of that and join in and share a story with you. The story that we're going to be listening today to today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which you all know, I'm sure. Okay, it's by Eric Carl, and it's actually been translated into 65 different languages, including Braille for blind readers. So Braille is that system of little tiny dots that you run your finger across and each of the dot combinations represents a letter and that helps blind people to read storybooks. In French, the book is called La Chenille qui fait des trous. La Chenille qui fait des trous. The word chenille means caterpillar. But none of the other words mean hungry. So the title is actually a little bit different in French. It means the caterpillar that makes holes. Because, of course, the caterpillar nibbles and nibbles and nibbles through lots of different items of fruit and food, other foods as well, and making holes in them. So, la chenille qui fait des trous. The caterpillar that makes holes. But before we read the story, we're just going to have a quick think back to last week's lesson where we were looking at the days of the week. We're going to practice saying them and we're going to do our little dance routine. Okay, so say after me, lundi, mardi, mercredi, Jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. And we spotted that letter pattern, didn't we, about the DI at the end of the words. Apart from Sunday, when the DI was at the beginning of the word. And we also noticed that lowercase letters. Okay, let's just say them one more time, a little more quickly. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Okay, let's get on our feet now and we'll practice our little dance routine. 
Okay, let's see if I'm in the camera. Okay, so remember, we start always with our left arm and it's left arm out to the front, straight ahead of us. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. So we do that little quarter turn. Okay, let's try again. Arms back by our sides. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Okay, I'm going to turn back to face you. We'll just do it a couple more times. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, Jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Okay, once more. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Okay. Well, of course, those words are really, really important in the story of the hungry caterpillar. So, here goes. Oh. Some sounds, that's right, some sounds first. So, the letter C and H together in French sounds like shh. Okay, and here are some words that you will come across in the story where you will be able to hear the shh sound. The word for a caterpillar is une Shuni, un shuni. The word for pickle, un cornichon, un cornichon. The word for a little cake, une brioche, une brioche, and a slice of watermelon, a slice, une tranche de pastèque, une tranche de pastèque. And of course, also, when we've been practicing our days of the week, the word for Sunday has the sh sound in it, dimanche, dimanche, okay. Another sound that you will be able to hear in the story is y, y. And double L in French often makes a y sound. Not all the time, but often. And we've come across it recently in our work about family. Une famille. Une Famille. Okay. Une famille. We can also hear it in the word for caterpillar. Une chenille. Une chenille. In the word for leaf. Une feuille. Une feuille. And in the word un papillon, un papillon. Okay, so double L often sounds like y, y, famille, chenille, feuille, papillon. Let's see if we can listen out for some of those sounds as I'm reading to you. Okay. La chenille qui fait du trou the caterpillar that makes holes. Dans la lumière de la lune, un petit œuf repose sur une feuille. In the light of the moon, a little egg is resting on a leaf. Un beau dimanche matin, le soleil se lève. 
et pop, une minuscule chenille sort de l'œuf. Elle a très faim. So, one beautiful Sunday morning, the sun rose and pop, a tiny caterpillar crawled out of the egg. It was very hungry. Aussitôt, elle part à la recherche de nourriture. Straight away, it went on the hunt for food. J'ai faim. I'm hungry. Lundi, elle croque dans une pomme. So she ate on Monday, it bit into one apple. Elle y fait un trou. She made one hole. Mais elle a encore faim. She was still hungry. Now, you might be saying, hold on, hold on, Madame Jackson. You told us that the days of the week didn't have capital letters. Well, I'm right. They don't have capital letters. But here, it's at the start of a sentence. So in this case, if the day of the week is at the beginning of the sentence, then yes, yes, it does need a capital. Okay. Mardi, elle croque dans deux poires. It bit into two pairs. Elle y fait deux trous. She made two holes. Mais elle a encore faim. Still hungry. Mercredi, elle croque dans trois prunes. Elle y fait trois trous. Mais elle a encore faim. She's still hungry. Jeudi, elle croque dans quatre fraises. Elle y fait quatre trous. She made four holes. Mais elle a encore faim. Was still hungry. Vendredi, elle croque dans cinq oranges. Elle y fait cinq trous. She made five holes. Mais elle a encore faim. Was still hungry. Samedi, elle croque dans un morceau de gâteau. Un cornet de glace. Un cornichon. Un bout de fromage. Un saucisson, une sucette, un quartier de tarte aux cerises, une saucisse, une brioche et une tranche de pastèque. Cette nuit-là, elle a mal au ventre. Oh là là. So that night, she had a stomach ache. Maintenant, elle n'a plus faim du tout. Mais elle n'est plus une petite chenille. Elle est devenue grosse et grasse. So now, She wasn't hungry at all, but she wasn't a small caterpillar either. She had become big and fat. Elle se construit une maison, un cocon et s'y blottit. Deux semaines plus tard, 
quand elle les perce pour en sortir. So she built a house, a cocoon, and shielded herself inside. Two weeks later, when she pierced it to get out, elle est devenue un superbe papillon. Un papillon. Comme ça. Elle est devenue un superbe papillon. She had become a superb butterfly. Okay. So we're just going to play a little game together that will again help us to think about our days of the week. All right, here goes. Just give me a moment for the quiz to load. So I want the quiz version, large screen. Okay. All right, it says, elle mange une Home. So your job is to think about the events in the story, the order in which the caterpillar ate the different items of food. Can you tell me which day the caterpillar ate the pom? Une pom, une, just one. And that might give you a clue. Is it Sandy, Vendredi, Mardi, or Lundi? A, B, C, or D. Remember, it's just one apple. So this was right at the beginning, wasn't it? On that first day. The first day, shout out, A, B, C, or D. Where shall I go? Lundi, Lundi. It was on Monday. Okay. Elle mange deux, deux poires, deux poires. Mm, what day was that? Dimanche, mardi, samedi, vendredi, A, B, C, or D. Deux poires, two pairs. Mm, wasn't that the second day? Lundi, mardi, mardi, mardi. Did you say that one? Well done if you did. Well done. Oh, it seems to be going in order at the moment. Trois prunes. Elle mange trois prunes. Trois. What day is that? Vendredi, jeudi. Dimanche, mercredi. Hmm. Shout it out if you know. A, B, C, or D. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, mercredi. Well done. Next question. Elle mange quatre fraises. Quatre fraises. Quatre fraises. Is it lundi, mardi, jeudi, or samedi? A, B, C, or D? What do we think? C, yes, it's jeudi, jeudi, Thursday. Elle mange cinq oranges, cinq oranges. So what's the Fifth day. Hmm. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi. What's next? A, B, C, or D? It's vendredi. Well done. Vendredi, Friday. Oh, elle a mal au ventre. She's got stomach ache. Elle a mal au ventre. Oh. 
et c'est mercredi, jeudi, samedi au dimanche. Do you know? Shout it out. A, B, C, R, D. C. Well done, Sandy. Fantastic. Elle mange une feuille verte. She eats a green leaf. A green leaf. Is it mercredi, lundi, mardi, or is it dimanche? A, B, C, R, D, can I hear you? Dimanche? Well done, fantastic. You did a great job. Okay. Well, that is where we're going to leave our lesson for today. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to being back in school next week where we can practice these days of the week together in the classroom. All right, au revoir, au revoir.